In the previous episode, we killed the Beholder. We also tried to do the Queen Bee, but I died at like the last 5% because I was not playing very well. And that sucks. But today, we're going to try to redo the Queen Bee. Obviously, I think that's a good idea. And the Vine Wrath Bane. So we have to go to the, uh, the, the Briar in order to do that. And I still got to do this Jelly Deluge thing, but... That's just not spawned since it did that one time. And also, why is it that every night I got this like thing going on? You know what I mean? Why? I don't know. Um, what's my inventory look like before I go rocking on? Not bad, actually. Um, what's the fathomless shrine? I really am not sure. Let's let's find out. Let's do it. Let's hit the button. Ah, oh, okay, so it's one of these. We got bad luck. Goody. That's Oh, wow. Wow. We're like way over here, huh? Yeah, maybe we should go look around a little bit. <laughs> this might be worth it. We're like we're literally at the end of the world there. I can't go right. That's, like, that's the end. I mean, we found a house. Oh, this is so weird to move like this. This reminds me of the final boss in, uh, in the stars above, which absolutely just ruined that mod for me because I, I couldn't do it. I, could, I can't do that mod or that boss because of the way the movement works. It's like this where you move your character around. And being so used to doing, you know, normal Terraria the way that we do, uh, it was giving me severe motion sickness. Like, really, really bad motion sickness. Uh, let's hold on to that. Let's get rid of all that. Okay. So, oh, it just turned daytime. I was going to go check up in the sky over there. Also, I don't have enough to... Uh, uh, the, the correct NPCs to get a pylon over there, but you know, we're working on it. I, I could do an underground one. That shouldn't be too bad, but let's go ahead and just jump into the jungle and get that all looking good. We're attempting to get stuff going. So, um, as we're on our way down to the bee biome, I wanted to mention, first off, I go to that. Uh, okay. Um, I wanted to mention that if you're not watching the Baldur's Gate 3 series, you really should be. I, I know I said it in the previous episode saying like, hey, uh, if you enjoy this, you would enjoy the Baldur's Gate 3 thing, but like even more so now. And in the previous episode of that, we, <laughs> we're just kind of cruising along doing a normal, you know, normal exploration thing. Not, nothing too crazy. Got, got into combat with some, some goblins and then and then everybody got to witness my curse. I am cursed, if you didn't know this. Which you may not, you may not have known that I am cursed, but it is true. I am 100% cursed. See if we get an extra one. Uh, we got bad luck too, I got keep that in mind. So I suck at rolling dice. And I don't mean like dice, dice do not require skill to, to roll, right? But I suck at rolling dice in the fact that if I roll a, a die, I just have a hard time rolling above an eight. That's, that, that magic number that I've got, I just can't roll above an eight. It sucks. And this past episode of Baldur's Gate 3 shows exactly that. So much so, so much so that it inspired me to swap out one of our members only uh, emojis that we have. And now I have a members only emoji that is a one. <laughs> It's, a, it's not like the number one, it's a it's a dice with the one on it. And uh, that's the story of my life right there. <laughs> it's gonna fit very well with that series. That's all we really need to say about that. It's, it's a bunch of fun. Also, if you're watching in the series and you've gotten this far through the series and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Like, come on, you've watched this many episodes of this series? Or maybe this is your very first episode? You know, some people it might be. And in that case, welcome, glad you're here. But you've watched this far into the video. We're about to do Queen Bee again since I finished this quest off. Um, you should, you should like absolutely subscribe. Watch more of these videos. Go watch the, uh, do, 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 where is it completed? Go watch the awesome series that we just did with, you know, Baldur's Gate Beekeeper stuff. Ooh, that seems cool. Do. Okay, get that. I also apparently never claimed that one. So we'll claim that one too. Um, I'm gonna have to make a behemoth or whatever it's called. Beholder mass sounds cool. Uh, we got more marble chunks. We got beekeepers greaves. What were the marbles chunks? Is there anything in particular I wanted to use? Fortification zone, that's right. Yeah, I think the fortification zone would be pretty good. Turn wooden arrows into ornament arrows. Ornament arrows create 
assorted gem arrows upon shattering. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. The fortification zone is also pretty good. Increases player defense and damage resist while standing inside. Just like sit in it, right? <laughs> sounds pretty good. Maybe, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Um, when we head back, do I have a book though? Oh, an empty arcane codex. Where the heck did we get that? We need a book and two fallen stars. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, we have cartographer's map that we could use soon. Um, right, yeah. I, I do have to go back because I got to create a behemoth. So let's... Also, I want to see what this beekeeper stuff looks like. Maybe, maybe that's, that's the key. Maybe, <laughs> this is pretty good actually. <laughs> let's, let's wear the beekeeper stuff for a little bit. That's for sure. We're going to do that. I'm going to pop this uh, thing into there. We'll hold on to that. Get rid of these. And then I need the beekeeper, or not the beekeeper, the uh, behemoth. And what am I missing for that? An abomination. that's what it is. Hive. I'm missing hive and honey blocks. So I'm gonna have to go back down to get those. Uh, but I, I would be, I'd be happy with going back. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and we'll make one of these and then go try to fight the boss. Okay, let's try this again. Now that we've got everything. You know what, I'm gonna place this banner down. Not that I need it, but I just want it out of my inventory. Do I want to use the mana flower? 8% mana, you know, usage reduction is pretty good. Do I need the clown in a bottle? Probably not. I'm, I'm kind of just like flying here with the, the wings. I think, whoops, the wrong thing. I think I am going to take the reduced mana usage. It might help, right? Because I was running into some mana issues previously. So it, it may in fact help. Let's pop this down there. Not get hit by this, please. Where's my summon? What are you doing, buddy? All right, here we go. Uh, Abomination. Get that in there. I feel like I could utilize this weapon here. Oops, totally wasn't attempting to run into the boss. But when it comes to like killing the boss when she's doing this, it might be better for us to utilize the good old trusty mace. Also, I really didn't need to use that potion. <laughs> I just, I got, you know, I got scared that I, I was taking too much damage. I don't know why. In fact, I can go ahead and grab this. Including that good old honey buff. Man, honey buff is so good. It gives you so much regeneration. It really does. Yeah, I want those mana stars. Give them to me. So I could apparently not do anything. Um, that's not gonna hit. I guess it did. This this weapon is a little hard to use. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It is definitely. Oh wow! I got myself stuck in a little hole there. I didn't even know existed until now. It's definitely got quite a bit of a skill shot on it. I think what we do here is we smack the boss around a bit. You know, give it that. Give it that good old big hitters. And then this is when we use that to get the mana flowers or not mana flower, mana stars right and then i'm gonna go back to melee here right because boss is gonna pop up i kind of feel like swapping to the jade staff i can't believe the jade staff is this good we've been using it for so long in this playthrough it's insane it's such a good weapon and it boils down to the the AOE ability of it, right? Like, there's no doubt that it's just so good. Uh, let's pick up these mana stars. I kind of wanted to charge the boss during that. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, maybe not. Because she's done doing her little thing. The problem is, it is very hard to hit the boss with it accurately for me. And I gotta keep the turret down. The turret just does so much damage. Right, here she comes back. Yeah, I can't, I can't hit with that. So, I, I gotta save my mana for when she starts doing these. Yeah. If I could pick up some more of the stars. And ideally, I would save a star or two. 
I just keep running into her freaking little things. It's so annoying. Might be able to get that heart. Not that it really made too much of a difference there. Is she gonna charge us? Here she goes. No? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was weird. I'm out of mana. Not ideal. I do I get a heal soon though. We really need some stars. Oh my goodness. I like, I have to save my mana for when she starts popping her little babies out. That's, that's like a must. I must do that. I, I, I can't, I can't not because I have to be able to kill them. And the only way for me to currently kill them efficiently is with the, the Jade Staff. Man, I feel like my jump is so good with this armor set. Yeah, I don't even need... I don't even need the... What's the wedge call it? Oh my goodness. No. Let's not play this game. No! Why? Urgh, this boss. You know, I, I went to go make this bow. This bow of ornaments. I want to try it out. Um, just because it's kind of cool. And then I realized it's like this. <laughs> it's like this zenith bow. You need an amethyst bow sapphire bow an emerald bow and a diamond bow i've got all of that except the diamond bow i'm actually just missing diamonds and i thought i saw a diamond tree underground so i might go check that out also i want to go see if we've got the uh whatchamacallit the aurora borealis right so I'll pop this and head up take a look i don't think it it is here but you never know maybe it is maybe it isn't what exactly is this island? I don't remember. Oh, right, right, right. There's the big old, big old egg. Explore Aurora Borealis in the snowy tundra or at high altitudes. Well, it says or at high altitudes. I'm at high altitudes. I ain't seeing it. So it's got to be, it's just got to be a spawned in thing or like a weather thing. And we're just not getting it, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, a little bit unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to go underground see if I can find some diamonds. So I did go ahead and make some houses in between doing the Queen Bee. And we got Daryl the Bandit over here. I don't even know who this is. Whoa, whoa. That's a weird dash. So let's let's see who Daryl the Bandit is. What has he got? He's got shurikens. He's got Rogue Hood. Okay. Rogue's Crest. Summon damage. Summons a rusted sword to fight for you. Does not take up minion slots. Interesting. Putrid Spitter. Sharpshooter's Glove, every seventh range hit grants the next shot, increased velocity and 25% more damage. Wow, that's really good. Um, Swiftness Rune massively increases unassisted aerial agility. <laughs> Assassin's Magazine, equipable. Double tap up while holding a ranged weapon to swap ammo types. Ooh, that's really cool. Uh, target can, hit it with a bullet in the air to do extremely high damage. <laughs> Loot chest, right? We got those. And the Psycho Mask. That's really interesting, huh? That's a that's a really cool. What kind of bunny was that? Is that a diamond buddy? Didn't look like it. I did. They don't have anything extra, right? I'm just making sure that there's no like diamonds on these two. Is this a? Have I done a haunted tome before? No, I haven't. Oh, I didn't realize that this is how you do it. That you you break box and boxes in order to get it. Okay. Also, I realized I didn't even have my summon in the previous uh, B fight, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh well. Would it have made a difference? Probably. Was it gonna make a huge difference? Probably not. What's a screaming tome? Sixteen magic damage. Creates orbiting skulls. Released to launch skulls. Oh, that sounds so cool, isn't it? That actually might be really good versus the Queen Bee. Interesting. Should I break more of these books? Because, like, very clearly, it's like, hey, here's all these books, you dummy. <laughs> Why don't you use them? All right, how, how, many, how many diamonds do you think? One? Maybe one. Uh, one, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that diamond gem corn. We're gonna go plant it somewhere else. Oh, I should have known it was just in the open. Oh, oh crap. 
<laughs> At least it was only a gold that I dropped. That was nothing that important. I just... I'm just disappointed in myself because I even thought to myself, this is trapped, don't open this. And then I went, nah, dog, ain't trapped. Why would it be trapped? That was silly. That's an absolutely silly idea. It, there's no reason it should be trapped. Cue my desk. That was what happened there. That is exactly what happened. Let's pop this down here. Um, and then head back up. Okay, so I got a, another book as well. So I got a celestial version of the same thing. Maybe we try, we try this one out. I mean, it's pretty good. I think it might be really good. If I do it correctly. If I use it correctly, I think it might be really good. Um, we also got a bunch more books. Okay, so we can go... Um, zone? No, it's not zone. <laughs> Fortification? No. What was that? The name of that thing? Uh, do, 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 do. Fortification zone, yeah. What do I need? A workbench. Oh, 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 right, but I need an empty arcane codex. Let's just make a bunch of those, you know? Fortification zone. Two minute duration, okay. But this counts as a century, so my damage output is gonna go down, I think. How, how big is this said zone? Also, you, you can make other ones. They have a healing zone, low gravity zone, slow zone, um, not a fro zone, <laughs> and a stamina zone. Well, wait, wait, what did the stamina zone do? Stamina zones increase movement speed by 20%. Eh, it's, sorry, that's, that's okay. Whoa, don't, didn't want to go down. So how big is this zone? Wow, that is so tiny. I don't know about that. That may not be worth it. That it's that's such a small zone for this particular boss fight, you know. Uh, a beam nation. Give me another one. Let's just try this again. Okay, going again. This time, I am gonna utilize the skulls because they go through the wall. So that's a nice little thing that I learned. So we can utilize the skulls to take out the bees and the queen bee. Um, so we have to charge it up. It also uses very few uh, mana, which is really nice, honestly. Do I have my summon? No. Do I? No, because I died, right. Let's not forget that again, huh? I feel like utilizing the skulls might be a little more I don't know, beneficial, because we, we could do that little tiny bursts of damage and not actually have to worry about getting in to melee the boss for a build that isn't currently set up for melee. Oh, I'm out of mana, though. Well, you know what? <laughs> My little duders did a pretty good job there. Right, let's resummon the turret, because I keep forgetting about it, honestly. I just like ran into that so many times. Get out of that hole. Okay. I feel like I'm doing significantly less damage though. As opposed to just being like, nah. We're gonna... We're just gonna burn her down. With the Jade Staff. The Jade Staff is just so good. But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of feel like I almost have to, uh... Oh, I forgot about this weapon, huh? I mean, that's pretty good. I think I think I hold on to it. Hold on to the, the mana while she's doing that and then try it. And like try to stay kind of far further down. <laughs> Not like doing any damage to her. That's a problem. For a really cool weapon, that's a problem. <laughs> It's like it doesn't it has a ceiling to it, so you can't actually just like use it from an infinite range And speaking of ceiling <laughs> I keep hit, hitting the ceiling of it and that doesn't that Doesn't do any extra damage Get my mana though I can't believe I missed that I Pick this one up go I'll get us some more stars. 
Yeah, I don't feel like every cast of this is worth it when she's charging me. Because it doesn't feel like it's doing enough damage, you know? I Like, I only get maybe one or two ticks on her before, before it's just gone. And, see, I'm out of mana. So, like, I kind of have to wait and regen mana. I, like, that does so much damage. That's just almost 400 damage with a single crit. Like, it's really good. And I can charge an attacker, too. Oh, that's that's the way to do it, baby. That's so good. She's gonna she's gonna spawn some bees at me though, so I gotta be prepped. Prep for the bees. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, we're going back to hammer time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is where it all falls apart for us. Oh my goodness. Just trying to Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna die. Damn it! <laughs> I keep dying at the exact same percent. Alright, this is a weird jump cut, but it's been a, a pretty significant amount of time. I've I've taken a break. I've, I've been off and doing other things. And I came back and decided to go get some diamonds. So I went and basically found a little spot of diamonds, which is really nice. I farmed the tree a couple times. It's regrowing, but the result is we can now make a diamond bow. I got 11 now. I needed the eight. So we got that. It's nasty. Ooh, that's a, that's a nasty bow. <laughs> it's the weirdest. Okay. Turns wooden arrows into blah, blah. Okay. Sure. I mean, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, I don't know exactly how good this is going to end up being, but, you know, we'll, we'll try it. I got, I got a bunch of wooden arrows, so I'm hoping it's I hoping it's good. I've got just wooden arrows, right? So diamond arrows, pierce, and additional enemy turns wooden arrows into diamond arrows. Cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, oh, wait, no, that's, that's just the diamond bow. I forgot. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. No, no, no. We need the bow of ornaments. Ah, that's what I was trying to make. This is what happens when it's been for freaking ever. You lose track of what you were supposed to do. What does this one do? Turns wooden arrows into ornament arrows. Create assorted gems upon shattering. I don't know what it means by assorted gems, but I'm going to go upgrade it. <laughs> yeah, you see, I just got done doing that. So now it's going to regrow again. Reforge. Basically, you get, it's like, I don't remember. It's like two. Um, oh, crap. I forgot which one. Is it deadly is best for ranged weapons? I think it is. It's going to go through all my gold. Goodness. What am I at now? Yeah, I'll take a murderous. I can't believe I just wasted all my gold on that. This may not even be good. That was such a bad idea. Uh, good. Oh, hey, look. I got a quest up here. Did I always have a quest? Huh. Hey there, lad. The world's gotten a lot more dangerous recently, but it's not all bad. My scouts have been hearing about a big, beautiful creature that reveals itself under the light of the aurora. It's a massive stag, and I think you could tame it if you found the right food for it. It's a bit skittish, though, so try not to startle the beast. Hey, give me a quest. Taming the stars. Okay. Um, quests. Where's taming the stars? There it is. Retrieve a ice berry, slowly approach an aurora stag and feed it ice berries. Interesting. Get holly, hand warmer, Christmas tree. Three gold, heck yeah. Okay, whatever, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I need to actually go get more stuff to make an abomination and then we'll do another queen bee. Is this like a mini boss over here? The heck is this thing? Flask of gore. Hmm. I don't think that was on the... No, not that I see. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was that was really weird. I don't think I've ever seen that thing before. Oh, the uh, dryad has a quest for us too. What does she got? Roll the change for the worse. I sense foul magic growing stronger and stronger. If we must keep the forces of evil at bay, we must seek help. As of late, I've also sensed the presence of something or someone familiar in the depths of the marble caverns. Go to her; she will be able to offer you guidance. Okay, what was that? Taming the stars, ancient 
augury sanctuary soul searching strange new or or strange new spirit fields have been emerging over the horizon uh, bear countless new plants and animals soul orbs depths underground spirits okay I, I, I don't feel like this is necessary at the moment um available depths receive the sepulcher chest this is the thing is uh, okay so this is my current <laughs> it's my What's, who's the mysterious woman what is this i don't understand like is it because i was like exploring the world and whoa there was um uh, what's it called a freaking nymph that i killed underground i wonder if that is what triggered this because before didn't have it now I do. Or actually, maybe I did have the Dryad one because I've been past her like multiple times. I thought I saw a quest earlier, but I never. I guess it doesn't really matter. I got a bunch of quests. And my point was my issue with the quests currently, I love them. There's too many. There, There is too many. It needs to be a little more focused. I think a little more focus would go a very long way with these quests in which it's like, uh, yeah, at the beginning, it's like you get a quest. But it, uh, instead of having the adventure adventurer, maybe maybe the guide is the adventurer. So you immediately get a quest like, go find the briar. It's like cool. That's what I have to do first. Then the next quest is like, hey, dum dum, you need to go find the ocean or something like that, or like go underground or go find this kind of. You know, just give me something. All right, we're gonna super buff up here. Um, did I get that raw fish? I didn't need it. All right, a beam nation. I'm pop this down. I think I have this, right? Why am I poisoned? What poisoned me? Oh, now that's bad. <laughs> I got a, a hunter potion, by the way, so, so I can see the uh, queen bee while she's moving through walls. It makes it just a tiny bit easier for sure. All right, let's, let's try this bow out. I'm hoping for the best. I also really needed to cover that hole. I forgot, I forgot about the hole. Do -do. Can we? Nope. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get hit. So as soon as she starts spawning nerds, I, I think I need to swap back. Like I think she's about to do it now. Yep. So we swap back to this because that that weapon is just so good. And then we can go back to the bow. And as long as I'm kind of keeping her on this level, I should be able to hit her. Although I'll tell you what. I've not used a bow really all playthrough, so the, the arc on it, I'm going to have to get used to again. It is a problem. Oh my goodness. Yeah, having her on this particular level makes it easier to hit her. Potentially. <laughs> Potentially easier to hit her. Let's do this. Get some of these back. Go back to shooting at her. I don't feel like I'm necessarily doing any more damage. Is it better because I'm at range? Probably. I feel like maybe that's a little bit more helpful instead of constantly being trying to melee the base the queen bee, which is not a bad thing. You can do it. I just don't have a melee setup. Like I should be running the, uh, oh, what's the, the jungle accessory to melee faster? I'm, I'm like blanking on the name of it. But any one of those, I need a... Maybe a shield from this particular mod. Like the shields are pretty good. So like that that would help a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I just I'm I'm missing the required things to have like a full melee build. Even though I'm having fun with it. So we're kinda going like hybrid. We're going halvesies on a bunch of stuff, and it's making us a little bit more weaker, but I, I feel like I'm having more fun for it. Let me know, by the way, if if you are feeling like maybe I should focus on a particular build like go like just go full summoner or whatever and which one I should do if I if you feel that way right now I'm just kind of exploring every option to me like this bow is super cool it also gives some variety I, I typically play one class during a playthrough and I I lament and I'm like ah oh, if only I had chosen melee this playthrough because like I keep getting like cool melee weapons or if only I had chosen how to you know, play a mage this playthrough because it is exact same things. Um, but with this, I could be like, well, let's try it out. 
It's unfortunate the spirit mod is currently running Tmod Loader 1.4.3. One, because I want to be running 1.4.4 so I can play Calamity at my, my very limited spare time and see what that's going to be about with the newest update. Um, and Thorium. Thorium got a new update too. But um, <laughs> the unfortunate thing is, yeah, it's not. And it would be really nice to be able to have the loadouts because then I can have a full loadout saved for different builds running a hybrid thing and then swap between them as I need. Like maybe run summoner for like events or like crazy um, uh, like swarm bosses where having a, a summon to like auto target stuff is really good. Or that's probably a better idea. Just have a, like a boss setup that I can swap between um, builds like you know the first phase of a boss fight is better with melee but the second phase is better with range like I wonder if that would be a good option oh we did it let's get out of there <laughs> queen bee relic I need to make some kind of like relic station for this well that should not have taken us as long as it did and yet it did so that's a problem something to consider <laughs> I feel just like ashamed with how long that took. This should not have taken me that long to actually defeat the boss. Um, right, what's next? Back to what we were saying at the beginning of the, the episode. We need to go kill the Vine Wrath Bane. Um, yeah, and then we get to do Ancient Avian after that, which is that bird up in the sky. That might be kind of fun. Might have to make a, an arena and actually utilize instant bridges, right? Use the insta bridge. That'd be pretty good. Can I actually make a couple of these already? Heck yeah. Now we got an insta bridge that we bridge, bridge, insta bridge, can't talk, that we can use for that particular boss fight. That's going to be fun. Uh, 